Good evening. Welcome to South Asia Newsline. I'm Arjun Chaudhary. We are on the top story that tracking for you on Thursday, the 25th of September. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches Make in India campaign before starting US visit. MQM observes Karachi shutdown against arrest of party workers. And Hindus in India begin fasting for nine-day festival of Navratri. And now for all the details. Hours before his departure to the United States, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Thursday officially launched one of his most ambitious projects, the Make in India campaign. The initiative is aimed at transforming India into a manufacturing destination. With nearly 500 top business honchos from India and abroad in attendance, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Make in India program in capital New Delhi on Thursday. Kicking off the campaign, Prime Minister Modi promised effective and easy governance to help achieve high growth. He said the government's focus will be on ensuring physical infrastructure for making India a hub for global manufacturing. The industrialists who came at the event lauded the initiative. We are fully confident that under the Make in India program of the Prime Minister, factors that adversely affect the competitiveness of manufacturing will now be removed quickly. Then, India will become one of the most competitive manufacturing countries in the world. I believe that the call to make in India could not have been more timely. Manufacturing has to become the next big wave for us. India has all the ingredients in place to become a manufacturing hub. Some said the initiative would enable India's bureaucracy and business class to work together. This offers a timely and unique opportunity for industry and government to work together to make India truly globally competitive. Federal Commerce and Industries Minister Nirmala Sitharaman said Make in India shows the commitment of the government towards promoting India as an industrial hub. For us, Make in India is not a slogan. It is a mission to be accomplished with single-minded commitment. Prime Minister Modi said India is the best destination to invest in Asia. और व्यापार उद्योग का विस्तार करने वाले विश्व के लिए एफडीआई एक अपॉर्चुनिटी एफडीआई फर्स्ट डेवलप इंडिया और विश्व के व्यापार व्यवसाय को विस्तार करने वाले लोगों के मैं कहता हूं भारत एक अपॉर्चुनिटी है फॉरेन डायरेक्ट इन्वेस्टमेंट के लिए Prime Minister Modi first announced his dream of Make in India during his maiden Independence Day speech last month. Despite being one of the biggest exporters of software and human resources in the world, Indian manufacturing sector has not been able to gain momentum. It has a contribution of just 16% in the country's GDP, whereas the services sector accounts for nearly 60%. Prime Minister Modi is expected to push for the reform of the UN Security Council as he embarks on his first trip to the United States as a leader. Prime Minister Modi, once snubbed by Washington, will attend the UN General Assembly before sitting down for bilateral talks with President Barack Obama. Narendra Modi's visit to the United States coincides with the auspicious Nine Nights or Navratri festival on the Hindu calendar. And as such, there is general optimism in India that the visit will usher in a new era in the Washington-New Delhi relationship, which has gone through a rough patch in recent times. Well, he's a new man for the United States. They don't know uh, much about him. Whatever publicity there was before was negative. So I think uh, this visit will be more spent on getting to know him. With more than 30 engagements on his agenda, Mr. Modi is likely to seize the opportunity to woo American investors. But the main focus will be his bilateral meeting with President Barack Obama. Experts say besides trade, investment and energy, the recent India-China border standoff is likely to figure prominently 
in the talks between the two leaders. With President Obama, he will be able to discuss, naturally brief him about his visits to Japan and, and the Chinese visit here. And uh, it, it would be a good idea if they can talk about China in great detail and the recent aggressive actions of China on the Ladakh border. We will also figure, I'm sure, in the conversation. Mr. Modi's invitation to Washington is remarkable, given the U.S. revoked his visa nine years ago in the aftermath of the 2002 Gujarat riots, which saw 1,000 people die under his watch. And even the opposition Congress party feels the incident should not impede the larger interests of the two democracies. America is our largest single trading partner. It is a country with which geopolitically we do not have any significant differences, where there is a lot of interest in seeing our relationship grow and develop. There is an Indian interest. It's not one party or another party. It's an Indian matter. If the Modi-Obama meeting is successful, it will be another example of a strategic balancing act by India and would follow productive diplomatic interactions with Australia, Japan and China over just the first few months of the new government. On to some other developments now. The Mutaid Akwami movement or MQM observed a shutdown in Pakistan's Karachi on Thursday to protest the arrest of its nearly 30 supporters a day before. MQM Supremo Altaf Hussain called for a shutdown in the commercial hub on Thursday against what he called the continued targeting of his supporters and the Mohajir community by law enforcement agencies. According to the MQM, nearly three dozen of its supporters were arrested by the police when around 500 party activists were holding a meeting at their office. Hundreds of MQM supporters also held sit-in demonstrations in front of the chief minister's residence and across Karachi to protest against the midnight raids. The MQM has accused the Sindh government of targeted attacks on the party. It said over 60 of its activists who were arrested in the name of the Karachi-targeted operation have gone missing. MQM is the fourth largest political party in the Pakistan National Assembly and draws its support from the Urdu-speaking Mohajir community in Sindh. Party chief Hussain, who fled the country in 1992, now lives in London but continues to control the day-to-day -day affairs of the party. He often addresses his supporters via video conferencing. India is playing host to the third edition of the South Culture Minister's Summit in capital New Delhi. The two-day meet, which began on Thursday, is aimed at bolstering cultural cooperation between the member countries and developing areas of heritage conservation. The highlights also include strengthening of cultural institutions and festivals in the region, apart from preservation and promotional literacy. India has also proposed to hold Cricket Connects exhibition in the associate countries. The meeting reviews the agenda adopted by the second meeting of SAR countries of culture held in Colombo 2006. Pakistan foreign ministry has condemned a U.S. drone attack in the country's North Waziristan region on Wednesday, which killed 10 suspected militants, including some foreign nationals. Pakistan Foreign Office spokesperson Tasneem Aslam said on Thursday that it was unwanted, as the army is already carrying out an operation in the same area. The unmanned aerial strike was carried out on a compound located in the Lohra Mandi area, some 40 miles west of Miransha, Officials said the foreign militants killed in the first such operation this month were Uzbek nationals. The attack also came days after the UN criticized the continuing aerial strikes in the country's tribal areas. For Afghanistan, which has long been awash with political chaos and war, a game is succeeding to paint a new image for the strife-torn nation. Take a look. As Afghanistan struggles to come out of months-long political deadlock, several paintball centers are providing the much-needed respite during the time of stalemate. Gaming arenas have sprouted in capital Kabul, reclaiming the fighting and placing it on the paintball field. The sport, which has become a popular leisure activity in Afghanistan, has participants geared up in helmets, goggles and protective clothing, firing rounds of die at each other using gas-powered guns. The owner of one of the paintball centers said he wanted to help ease people's memories of war. Many of the 
و گفتیم یک موضوعی مورد بدیل دیگر را بیاریم که حداقل هموطنا روحیش هم با یک اندازه سازگاری داره و ای بتونه امو بغضهایی که در مقابل هم دیگر توسط گلولای مرمی و توب و تفنگ میتونست هم دیگر را بکشن و بزنن توسط از ای به یک صلح و به یک آرامش و به یک دوستی تبدیل شه The participants appreciated the irony of firing toy guns in a country flooded with war and weapons. We have a good feeling in the time of the war. We have a good feeling in the time of the war. But we want to make a war and 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 a war. Afghanistan, which has witnessed war and conflict for more than three decades, is seeing the game of paintball as a new lease to spread positivity, as the Ashraf Ghani-led government is set to come to power next week. The nine days of prayers, feasting and fasting has just begun. And as the spirit of Navratri engulfed India on Thursday, take a look at how the festival dedicated to Hindu goddess Durga kicked off across the country. Thousands are thronging the town of Katra, some 26 miles from northern Jammu, to pay obeisance at the famous Vaishno Devi temple. A larger number of devotees come to Jammu, believed to be the abode of Goddess Durga on Navratri, to seek the deity's blessings. It is believed that during this time, prayers are answered by the goddess if offered with a true heart. Navratri is the mother of the mother. माँ के नौ दिन जब देखें नवग्रह है नव दुर्गा है नवरात्रे हैं इनमें माँ के पूजा का एक विशेष महत्व है जो लोग सारा साल माँ की पूजा अर्चना नहीं कर सकते इन नवरात्रों में वे जरूर आते हैं और मैंने देखा वहाँ से बहुत दूर दूर से लोग आए हुए हैं In central Bhopal residents took to early morning prayers as they began their first day of fasting many sought blessings for their family आज नौ दिन से पूजा पाठ करेंगे बहुत अच्छा लगेगा और माँ की सेवा करेंगे उतना ही बहुत ज़्यादा सही रहेगा और माँ उतनी कृपा करेंगे आज नौ दिन ही तो इतने माँ के दिन थे जो ज़्यादा सेवा सुविधा होती है और अच्छा लगता है फिर Hundreds of devotees queued up outside local temples in southern Vijayawada to pray on the auspicious occasion. Many believed taking holy dips at the temple ponds will cleanse their souls. Residents of Western Ahmedabad took to markets to do last-minute shopping as they are gearing up for the traditional garba and dandiya dances which are an integral part of the celebrations. Many said Navratri was the most important festival in the whole year. Navratri is such a thing that every person is so rich people for Navratri. All the kids are so rich, all the kids are so rich, all the kids are so rich. We buy all the kids for every festival. We enjoy the Navratri for 2-3 days. 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 Tribal communities in eastern Jharkhand went the traditional way. People took to folk song and dance to mark the commencement of the nine-day festivities, also called Durga Puja. According to legend, Goddess Durga descends on earth during this time to rid it of demons and bless her devotees with happiness and prosperity. People fast for nine days and the tenth day is celebrated as the Shehra. Well, that's the way it was in South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories, once again. Prime Minister Narendra Modi launches Make in India campaign before starting US visit. MQM observes Karachi shutdown against arrest of party workers. And Hindus in India begin fasting for nine-day festival of Navratri. That's all in tonight's edition. We'll see you same time tomorrow. Good night.